Hey guys, it's Jim. How's it going today? Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to talk about three creative but quick edits using Luminar 2018. There's a lot of power, a lot of flexibility, and frankly, I'm having a whole lot of fun editing my images in the new version of Luminar, and I think you will too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have this photo here taken in the uh, city of Prague one morning, and I'm just going to add a few things so that I can bring this photo to... Uh, to look at how I want it to look. What I want to do is sort of draw your eye into the path that would lead you to the uh, the bridge uh, header there at the end of the uh, photo. So I'm just kind of doing that real quick and I'm kind of going through these things and I'm just moving quickly because I said these were going to be quick edits. And so in this case I'm taking structure and I applied it to the photo but now I'm masking it out of the sky because I don't want that sort of Armageddon sky kind of look. I just want something smooth and I think that ought to do it. Okay, I need to add a little contrast and now that I see that I'm going to take the structure down. It's a little too much. I don't want to make it crunchy. So I think that's a little bit better. Uh, add a little bit of contrast and a little bit of smart tone. Um, here's something I love and this is dodge and burn. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, I'm on lighten and I'm going to drop the strength to, you know, maybe 25. And all I'm going to do is just kind of paint along this path here. All I want to do is kind of lighten it up so it looks like it's drawing you into the photo. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. And I did this on a, or at least part of this, on a Facebook Live the other day. So you may have seen that already. Just wanted to share it here on my YouTube. And now I've got the vignette filter. I want to just continue, uh, continue, I can't even talk, to sort of draw you into the photo. I'm going to replace the center there. And I'm going to add a little inner light. And boom, there we are. I think we're done. So there's the beginning photo unedited. And there it is after just a few quick filters in Luminar 2018. Added some detail, added some contrast, some shadow, adjusted tones, dodge and burn, added a vignette, placed it, customized it, and increased the inner light in the vignette. And there you go. Now to me, it looks like it's kind of drawing you into the path towards that uh, bridge tower in the distance. Okay, that's photo number one. Let me get photo number two and I'll be right back. Okay, photo number two. This is an old grocery store actually here in Austin, Texas. It looks like it's in some small little New England town to me, but it's not. It's uh, it's like a 10 minute drive from my house. Uh, I'd heard about it, finally got out and shot it. Here it is. It's cool looking, but that's a single exposure. It doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna get some filters and get going. So let me check my notes here. I'm gonna use Accent AI. I'm gonna use the Foliage Enhancer. I'm gonna use Golden Hour. Let me find that. Golden Hour, here we go. I'm going to get HSL, which is down here, and I'm going to get Tone, uh, which is up here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. Uh, Accent AI I use on a lot of photos. It's really powerful, and I'm going to go to about 34 here, something like that. Foliage Enhancer is really cool. You can use it to really give a nice green, rich color to your leaves, but that ain't what I'm doing. I'm going the other way. I'm going orange. And so I want to create more of a fall look to this photo. So let me see here. I'm going something like that. And then I'm going to add a little golden hour. So I'm just continuing to check my notes. And let's see here. Something like that. You can see the leaves are kind of changing color, which is cool. But the best way to do that, to enhance it, is with the hue uh, component of the HSL filter. So I'm going to get in here. And I'm going to take the orange hue kind of that way. Something like that. I'm also going to change yellow pretty significantly. You can kind of see what's happening to the photo. And I'm also going to change green. I'm going to go like that. So now I've got a really rich fall sort of color look to those leaves. And you can see there's the before and there's the after. And in fact, let me show you the real before, right? They were green. This was, uh, I think it was early fall when I took this. It was a while ago, a couple of years ago. But um, the uh, you know, we don't get a lot of fall in Texas. So, hey, I made it fall. Fun. That's that's the beauty of this software. I just adore this stuff. Um, and then I'm going to come over here to saturation, and I'm going to take the reds down a little bit. They're a little bit intense. I don't want to go crazy. And I'm going to take the oranges down a little bit as well, and bump up the yellows a tad. Let me see. And I'm going to bump up green a tad. So again, just kind of messing around with the colors, going from that to that with the HSL filter. Super fun. Super easy. And now I'm doing a little bit of tone. I'm going to add. There's my text going off. All right, here's a contrast adjustment. I'm going to bump that up to about 21. 
and smart tone. Let me turn this off so you don't have to hear it again. And smart tone, I'm gonna bump that up a little bit as well. And I love to use those two together. I think they work really well. I think the photo's looking great, but there's one more little trick I got up my sleeve, and that's the new sun rays filter. I'm gonna stick that guy in here and make it look like the sun was shining because it wasn't shining here, but I don't care. Um, I'm gonna stick it in there or something like that. And let me see what I did to this. I'm gonna go maybe a little bit more, let's see, something like that. And maybe something like, oops, like that. Just barely out of frame. I want the sun rays coming down and kind of beaming into that photo. I'm gonna bump up the amount a little bit and I'm gonna take the look down a little bit so that'll create a little bit darker, kind of moodier look. If I go that way with look, it brightens it a lot. So I'm kind of going a little darker and moodier. And let's see, number, length, I think we're fine there. Maybe a little bit warmer, just to kind of add to that feeling. Um, and I think that's about it. I might would actually now go back here to Smart Tone, bump that up a little bit more, and a tiny bit more contrast. And there you go, my friends. Let me show you, oops, I gotta hit Place Sun Center to let the filter know I'm done. There's the before, and there's the after. Completely different, to creative to me. I created a fall look, I added a sun, did a lot of other stuff. And that's the second one. I'll be right back with a third photo in just one minute. Okay, here's photo number three. And this is uh, also from Austin, actually. This is a few miles from my house. I've driven by millions of times. I finally stopped one day, took a photo. But the photo's not that great. I, I just like old rusty stuff. And I like the Texco sign. But the, this truck is, I mean, that truck is just so cool. I had to get a photo. But with the building there and the stuff that's sort of behind me, it wasn't really a good place to set up. So... I'm gonna just create something totally different. And so what I'm gonna do is add a new image layer and I'm gonna get this texture and stick it on here. And I'm gonna change the blend mode as well to overlay. And then I'm gonna reduce the opacity to about 65%, uh, something like that. So I've basically now, I'm, and to be clear, this is the realm of art. Whenever you add textures or replace a sky, even the sun rays filter like I used on the last photo, to me that's art, you're just cr getting creative. And to me, that's half of the fun of Luminar, maybe more than half, uh, and it's totally fine to do it. I do feel like, especially if you're adding the sun rays or something, it's probably worthwhile to disclose, hey, I added this in post or whatever. Um, but anyway, so here I go. So I've got that. I'm going to uh, slightly erase. I'm going to get the brush, and I'm going to get the erase, and I'm going to take the opacity down by you know a bit, and I'm slightly going to erase that texture from the trucks. And, and the only reason is because they're pretty textured uh, enough as they are. And so um, I'm just, you know, I don't want the texture here to overwhelm the sort of natural texture that's in these trucks already. So let me share, uh, show you the mask. There you go, you can kind of see how I've erased. Uh, I don't want to totally erase it. Like I said, I'm just kind of doing some stuff here. Um, okay, oops, let me close that mask. There you go, okay, and I'm gonna say done. So now I've basically erased some of the texture from the trucks. I just don't, it's a very strong texture. I don't want it to, <coughs> excuse me, overwhelm the trucks. Now, time for a new adjustment layer. And I'm gonna get some filters. Let me look at what I got. I'm gonna use Accent AI, because I love it. I'm gonna use Structure. I'm gonna use Tone. What else am I gonna use? I'm gonna use Dodge and Burn. Burn, and I'm gonna use the Vignette. All right, so just a few things here, and all I'm doing is having fun. So Accent AI, I am going to about 24-ish, something like that. Structure, I'm gonna boost that guy a bit. And usually structure will bring up uh, details like in the sky in places you may not want them. And in a photo like this, I don't really care because I'm not worried about noise. I've already got a texture on the photo. So um, usually I use structure sparingly with a filter mask, not in this photo, but that's why I'm bringing it up. Okay, contrast, we got, you know, let's say 40. And smart tone about, you know, 14 or something like that. All right, I'm liking the tones. You can see what those two adjustments did. I think it's making it a little bit more punchy, which I like. Okay, vignette. I want to uh, drop the vignette, something like, I don't know, something like that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hit reset. I'm not going to do the vignette first. Uh, I'm going to do dodge and burn first. What I want to do is darken, and I'm going to go strength about 40 or something, 35. I want to darken these buildings a little bit. They're just a little too dark. And so I just want to paint over some of this stuff. 
and uh, sorry, they're a little bit too light, not too dark. I'm going to make them darker. In fact, I'm going to go even heavier. So uh, they're just a little bit distracting to me visually. Uh, and the truth is, I don't really care about those buildings because they're just something that's there. Now, if you wanted to really get fancy and try to do composite work, you could do that as well. I'm just taking that down a little bit so that it's not in my way visually. I think that looks a little bit better. There's the before. There's the after. I think it works. Um, now I'm going to use a vignette. And so let's see. I'm just going to drag the vignette down like that and that. Maybe add a little inner light. And you can place the center. If you wanted to place the center over here, you could do that. Uh, I don't. Uh, if you wanted to put it over here, you could do that. That's actually kind of cool. Um, but I'm, I'm going to leave it probably about right there in the middle. Actually, maybe a little bit left. I'm going to go maybe about there. Just because I want to uh, get both of the trucks in there. And now that I've done that, the vignette's a little too uh, intense. So there you go. Let me show you the before. Cool old trucks in a boring spot. Now cool old trucks with an added layer of grunge. Everything else is grunged up. It's just kind of fun. I actually might do one other thing here. I think I'd crop this photo. And let me see here. Uh, what would be a good ratio? Uh, let's try 16. Yep, 16 by 10 works just fine. So, oops. I'm going to go something like that. Getting rid of a little bit of that extra stuff. Um, and there you go. So here's the before. Uh, somewhere. Hang on. Oh, it's still processing. Give it a second. It's, it's a in, in uh, what's the word? Ingesting that crop. There's the before. There's the after. So that's it. Three quick edits. Uh, you know, I took the the prog photo, made a pathway, and drew your attention. Uh, I took the uh, the old grocery store. I turned it into a fall photo with the leaves. Uh, excuse me, with the sun coming through the trees. And then this one, I added a texture. To me, that's the beauty of Luminar. So much power, so much flexibility, so much fun. Check it out yourself. It's still in pre-order. You can uh, get to that in the link down below. And if you haven't yet, please like my channel, or excuse me, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share that with your friends as well. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer. And that's it. I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time, friends. Adios. Take care.